Holy sh What happened? Holy sh So, this, this is huge. I'm in whatever, whatever this is. This is, wow, like, um, yeah. So, um, this is from Awakened Realms. This is The Edge, Dawnfall, The All In, our um, newest edition from Kickstarter. Holy crap. This, I don't know if, if it's doing this box, I could fit Brittany in here. Like I could tuck, I could tuck her away at night. Maybe she gets tired once this box is empty. I'll just tuck her away in here. You know, just give a little blankie in there. She'll be fine. Like there should be tons of room. This is like a, this would be like a, a twin sized bed for her. This is just, wow. This is huge. By far the biggest box we've ever unboxed. I could only imagine this video was going to be three days long. When I backed the Kickstarter, you know what I remember? A big, fancy looking box with a bunch of minis in it. The box didn't look this big. Do you know how heavy this thing is? 42 pounds! 42 pounds! Actually, just under. It's like 41 something. But close enough. 41, close enough to 42 pounds. It's crazy! Crazy awesome. Like, I. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, let's just. Let's open it up. I, um, I feel like I'm gonna take a running start at this thing. I backed a lot of Kickstarters last year. I became, like, a uh, super backer m many times over. Um, so. I. Is, you can understand how I forget that about things. Like, I didn't forget that the Edge Dawnfall was coming. No, I haven't. Waiting for it. This looks so awesome. <gasps> but I had no idea. Oh my god. What's this? Oh, pretty. There's books. I'm sure that should be there, but it's not. So let's pretend it was there. Ba da! Woo hoo! That's. Even the book is heavy. No wonder this thing is 42 pounds. Oh, I thought it was like a comic book. It's not. It's like a legit book book, like a soft cover. Doing a lot of audiobooks. I wonder if that's an audiobook. Is there an audiobook for that? Marcin, if you're listening, is there an audiobook for this thing? Have to look at that. Oh, this box is beautiful. What do we got here? I like how there's these little divots. Wow. Oh, everything's off divot. I probably, it probably didn't help me banging it around, bringing this thing down. There you go, that one's in, in its right spot. Let's just put it all down so we can reveal that. Okay. Okay, cool. We got our book. Oh, a Vanguard art book. They like to throw in art books for their other projects. And we got an Edge Dawnfall art book. We'll have to take a look at those a little closer. Let's just see what everything's in this box. Okay, put the books over here. Let's take that thing out of there. Oh, that's so much. Holy boxes bananas. What is this? The first of us. Ooh, this looks like a comic book. I like that. I like comic books. It's like an oversized comic book. This is a big book. It's like magazine sized, but it looks like a comic book. So let me give you let's get a quick look of what it looks like inside. Neat. Okay, um, we'll try to get a better look when the camera is a little closer. And here's all the stuff. We got some expansions, the boss expansion. Let's take him out of there. Looks cool. What else we got in here? Ah. We got, this just says stretch goals. Okay, let's put that over there. Um, this is shrines and sources. Okay, so I guess these are shrines and sources. Um, what do we got here? Wow. I really did go all in. What's this? A bunch of portals. I think these are all like 
extra little models to make the battleground look cooler. There's the big box. That's what, that's all I thought I was getting. I forgot I backed all this stuff. Oh man. Father of the Sun, eh? All the Bali artwork on the boxes is awesome. Hey, cool, these are fairly, that's a loud one. Darkness, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, look, this is the beast. Oh, oh, that's where the that's where the majority of the weight is. Right there. It's, it's a big boy. Okay, right, let's uh one. Right. Okay. That's taken care of. Okay, so as uh if you're new to the show, or if not if you're new to the show, if you've been to the show before, you'll probably notice that the camera's a little further back than usual. Unless I zoom in, then you won't be able to tell the difference. But um, that's because the box was huge. So, um, yeah. So this is what we got. This is all the stuff that was in that box. Give you an idea. Uh, oh, no. Oh. I, I can't even get around this thing. I built a fort of happiness. That in there. I can't even, can't even see that. Let's put that up there. So... That's everything you get in the box. Now let's open these babies up and see what's inside them. You know what's gonna be in there? Some cool minis. It's for damn sure. Real cool. Because Awakened Realms, they do some awesome minis. Okay, let's do this. This, this big monster here, this is the war chest. At least that's what it says on there. This is the war chest. Oh, <sighs> let's look in the box. All right. Hey, Marson, you designed this game, did you? I didn't realize that. So let's admire this box art for a bit. I like this robot guy. She looks like she's gonna be cold, like a harpy of some sort. The robots are cool. I, I like, the, I'm digging the robots the most. They look nice, okay. You know everything in here is gonna look nice because it's Awakened Realms, they don't mess around. It's gonna be a good lid. As I say, I see it like the air suction going, bringing the lid down, so let me enjoy this. Here we go. Oh yeah. Breathe. Oh. You don't see the lid breathing. good and it's it let out this like this aroma of just like new minis and freshness yeah okay um all right all right so let's let's look inside shall we Ooh, this is gonna go on this side that's different campaign secret envelope only for the most persistent, the Edge, Donfall veterans. Do not open unless instructed to. Ooh, what's the deal with that? Do not open until instructed to, but I wanna, but I just want, okay, I won't. I won't, I won't open it. I'll, I'll obey the rules. I'm a rule follower. Okay, so we got a lot of books. Uh, we got a little campaign book here. I didn't even know there was a campaign mode. Yeah. They're floppy, but well made. As in they're, they're just heavy. They're, it's, it's a good feeling manual. Uh, campaign guide. A lot of campaign action here. There's a lot of gameplay in this giant box, which you'd expect from a giant box. Uh, we have more campaigns. Okay, that's three campaign books so far. Just give you an idea. They look very involved. There's a lot going on. And then we got the rule book. Yeah, it's actually a pretty light rule book. How many pages is this? I'm gonna guess 24. I was way off. Four, 15 pages? Four, 14 pages? Let's see, 15 if you can't summary. 15 pages. 15 page rule book, that's not bad at all. Mind you, the text, the text is teeny tiny. Mmm, smells new. What do 
we got here? This is a thing. Is this like a, do you put like stickers on here? It looks like a tracking map of some sort. These arrows are pointing both directions. So I'm guessing these are like paths you could choose to guide you on your little adventure. So let's take a look at both sides of those. So are those, are they all the same? I think they, I think they might be all the same. So there's a few of them. So I'm guessing everybody gets one. Okay, so there's a few of those. So those are all the same. And there is one, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So there's six of these. Okay. And they look like they're for this. Or these go on there. Now, as I understand it, this is a, a, a re-release because I never even knew the first one existed. I only found out about it the, during the re-release on Kickstarter. Yep, these are sheets of stickers. So these must go on, these things must stick to these things. So I'm guessing um, that these actually, this, the gameplay that these provide go a long way. There's a lot of stickers here. <clears throat> okay, okie dokie. What do we got? Where do we start? Where do we start? We got, we got more, more books and paper. What is this? What is what is happening? Is this like a reference sheet? These are these look like reference sheets for each card and ability. Oh, those are cool. Oh, demon faction sheet, chapter faction sheet. Oh, that's neat. So. Each faction has its own like reference guide. I saw uh, this. It reminds me of um, what was done in uh, Tapestry. They have a little reference guide. Very useful. This is very. It's it's handy that it's it's nice, nice quality, and it's just there for. So if you're gonna play the chapter faction, just give this to you, and you can just reference your own rules. This is from 4K, so we should be able to. I don't know from this height if you could read them all, but just give you an idea of what we're looking at here. So you have a faceless faction. These sound cool. Oh, they look terrifying. This, I'm just getting something about it just triggered in me. Just something, just a spark of excitement. Oh, baby. It just, it just hit me right now. I don't know what that was, but I like it. I liked it. Got more? There's a lot of flat little pieces of things. More maps. This is more like sticker sheets to track things with your stickers. Are these like a puzzle or is it the same sheet? Nope, it's the same. It's the same sheet. So we have a few of those. We have three. Three of those. I, uh, I, I wonder to myself, can you order more of those if you run out? But I don't exactly know how you use them. But at the same time, I don't think I'm going to get through everything this game has to offer. If, you know, funny, if I didn't have board game coffee, I would, I I would just, I would just do this all day. It'd be fantastic. Not that I don't mind board game coffee. This is great. Being with you guys is great. Doing the unboxings, great. But there are uh, also benefits to not having a channel, which is you can spend your game time however you want. But there's also benefits to having a channel. Like first, mainly, you meet. Well, first of all, you meet great people at conventions. And uh, secondly, you have an excuse to um, spend a whole bunch of money on board games. It's for the channel. Brittany, if you're listening. Okay, so we got a few punch outs here. You know, we'll get close on these. So let's just uh, move those aside for now. And we'll see those close out. I just wanna see, there's gotta be some big stuff in here. There. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna save that for when we're close up. We'll open them in a second. Yeah, there you go. This is the reason the camera's so high, is because I knew there was gonna be something giant in here. And the giant thing is the board. And maybe, hold on, I got this. Can it fit it on the camera? Yeah. One second, let me check this out. Oh, I could just barely fit it on the camera. Okay, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Let me, 
so I don't have to shift the camera. Let me move it around so you can see. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Actually, maybe I can fit it if I move the box. But that's that's pretty much all of it. You can you can see it all from there. So I um, there looks this has got that kind of awakened realm chaos feel to it. So I can't actually make out what's happening. But I think all that's important is these shapes here, these crazy little shapes. If I remember correctly, the big big guys take up the, the, the big footprint and then the little guys can fit in those the smaller footprints. I think I'm excited to play. Ooh, something on the other side. Yeah, let's flip it over. Oh, this is a, it's a hellscape. All right, so there's a little bit of a glare. Sorry about that, guys. So let me, if, I, if I hold it like this, there you go. Get rid of some of that glare. Give you guys an idea what to look at. Again, it's more of an abstract idea. Oh, that creepy, creepy little eye. That folds like that. Oh, baby, look at those. Ooh, I like the colored bases. Colored bases make it easier to know who's who's who and what's what. Because I know a, a popular option is not to give colored bases, but to give colored rings that you can attach to your bases. But this makes this is this is this is great. This is good. I like it. Okay, so I'll uh, put that over there. We're done looking at that. Now there's two boards in there. I think these boards are the same. Let me just double check. Yeah, what? I'm getting a very same feel, but you know I'm gonna just give you an overhead view just in case they're not exactly the same. Because I've done that before, where I was like, "Yeah, it's exactly the same," but it's not. Okay, so that looks the same as the other one. And maybe they are. Maybe you can run two games at once. I don't know. And that looks like the same hellscape. Okay, so we can put those away. How do we, there you go. And then, anything under here? Oh, it's just minis forever. Minis and cards. So this, this is just a box full of minis. And they're nice minis. And they're well packaged. It smells, it smells so good. Can you smell that? You can't, but you're missing out. Trust me. It's so good. Okay, um, let's just, let's just get in there. Okay, let's see. We can see, shall we? I might need to move this a little. I can't. I got boxes. I got boxes here. First, actually, you know what? Let's look at these. Wow. Oh yeah, I can. That looks pretty. I like the green. What am I looking at here? I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty. Okay, so we got a bunch of tokens on the other side. And again, we're in 4K, so feel free to pause and just enjoy. Okay. Again, forgive the glare. We've got some new lights in the studio. Still trying to work out the kinks. And the other side we got... What is going on here? Look at this. Is that like somebody with no skin? Are they killing that person? Or are they embracing them? I like to think it's like a lover's thing. Somebody with, it's just people with no skin. He's like... Loves her for her skin. It's, I doubt it's anything peaceful. Okay, that was upside down. But, all right, next we got. I like the colors on these. So bright and poppy, but yet evil. Just scope out a few randos. Okay, same on this side. That's the same on both sides. And then we got this. This looks a little evil. I guess these are perfection, maybe? Because they all look very different. Except for those things. Those things look the same. Oh, what's in here? It's like a window. Or like, it looks like people stuff it, stuck in an oven. Looks like the window on your oven. Okay. Did I flip that over? Did you guys see the other side? I don't think I flipped that over, because this has got... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's that's messed up. That's like a, a bowl of blood. Yeah, that's not cool. Oh, yeah. Who eats of that? Do you invite people? That's like fondue for demons. Come on over. We're going to have some fondue. You guys ever read... Um, oh, what's it? Fables? The comic book fables? If you've gone through the whole series, 
or really close, you'll know what this uh, reminds me of from that story. No spoilers. It's a great story, by the way. Okay, and this, what do we got here? I'm trying to angle it so the glare, because I got a glare from both sides. Again, an issue we will figure out as we get used to these lights. Actually, I think this is our first actual unboxing with this new light, light setup. So we'll see if it works out. Lay that down in case it causes any shadows. All right, we got more of these. Oh, that's upside down. Looks like somebody from Train Your or no, I was like, it's like Pete's Dragon went went bad or Nessie, like the Loch Ness monster. Oh, oh, bam! I'll start popping things out. I wonder if we can use this as a. Oh, I think I got an idea. Bam! Look at that glare gone. Hmm. This box is already pain paying off. Mm. I'm gonna have to keep that, not put the lid on this in this box, just keep that handy. Cause I'm afraid if I just put it on the, if I just use the box full, it'd tip over and crush me. Oh, that's a, that's a hole you don't want to fall into, right? That's for sure not a good thing. Oh, that one's worse. That, that, that hole looks worse. Maybe the other one in comparison was a good thing. What? Ooh, pretty blue. All right, and, oh, there's the green. I think, I like the green color. I think the green is the prettiest. This is a good, you know, your standard, not standard cardboard. I'm gonna say, a lot of board games have been using a lot of like good quality cardboard, and this is no different. It's it's really good. Okay, I think that was it for the stuff I want to see close up, other than the minis. Just let me take a look. Man, this giant box. Uh, yeah. Oh well, you know what? I'll zoom through the stickers for you. Let's get them over here. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh, let's make some room. Stickers, stickers. So give me. I'll look at. Show you one of these. Just give you an idea of what. This is these sheets, the um, the reference sheets. I'm not gonna go through all of these because, but you know, point in going through these, we'll see the cards. But that's the kind of thing to expect. That's the other side. Okay, so that is. I'm gonna go through those. Oh, I do want to show you some of these. So let's see up close. The stickers, sticker sheets. Oh, these things. So th that's the kind of stuff you're gonna get with the stickers, if you couldn't see that before. And I'm guessing those X's are probably not to mark a treasure, it's probably to mark some sort of failure. And those are the same. And we got some banners. Well, that looks like the world's worst zit. saw those. Um, looks like our hell ladies are going out on the town. And then we got more of the same down there. Well, these are different, I think, are they? No, they're the same. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. I'm getting like distracted. I see something shiny, and I'm like, "Ooh, look over there!" I already showed you this guy, this on the the high cam, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. And you know, actually, these double. So these and this, these are the same, separated by X's. I think yeah, yeah, they're the same. So let's just show you the upper part. There you go. If I do this, I can do it all at once. There you go. 
That's the same one I just showed you. Oh, is that our harpy? Looks like she got cut up. Okay, she looks like the only one that's not wearing a full top. The same. Is this the last different one? Yep, this is the last different one. There's a lot of stickers. I've never, I haven't had this many stickers since I was in grade school. All right, so let's put that away. Okay, now let's check out some minis. This, uh, yeah, take it up. it's all broken up into like sections. These cool, these cool things. And first, we got this. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, these are like, if you see my skin, I'm sorry. I'm having a bit of a condition that is tearing my flesh apart. It's not contagious, but it's being handled. It's just extremely dry patches. Okay, so these are all the same. And, well, those two are the same. And there's this. And these look like, looks like a time bomb or one of those things you'd see flying in space in a sci-fi movie. I don't know what that is. So we have those. Those back in that little baggie. I like these, I like the, um, the trays. Very nice. Very nice and organized. Are they entire factions? Might be. Hold on. I think they are. I think if you want a faction, then you would just give somebody this. So you give them this and this. This is my guess. I have no idea. So this is total speculation. What I'm guessing is you give somebody this and you'd be like, bam, that is the faction you're playing. And then you'd get all these cool minis and stuff in there. So let's look at it that way. Let's assume that's the way it is. Anything in the bottom of that box? No. Oh, he looks neat. He's got a big, like, big old like, medieval gun. Ooh. It's cool. There's two of him. And look, what's with, what's with this guy? He's got somebody's face in his crotch. Is that like a victim? Or is that his face? And that's the victim. No, that's a messed up mask. That looks very, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on that. It looks very Mad Max. You know, like those crazies that they got in Mad Max? That's what that reminds me of. I wonder if I bring this closer, if it'll help me focus better. Let's see. Look, if anything, it makes a cool backdrop. This guy looks very Mad Max. Oh, what I like at the detail is that his door, or his door, his shield is actually two pieces. And you can see the interlock based on that. That goes in there. If he could bend his arms, that's what we're, where it would go. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, know what, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know. I'm assuming a victim. These guys are cool. You know what, what I do like about these minis? Is they're very crisp. Like they've almost got like, they've got like resin, like uh, prototype level sharpness without the brittleness. Cause I've had um, Awakened Realms um, prototype minis before and they're very brittle, but they're beautiful looking uh, because of there's the prototypes. But the final is always obviously more secure cause the other ones are so brittle you just like poke them, the wing would fall off. But uh no, these are these look just as sharp and clean 
and they're not brutal. And there's three of those guys, by the way. So that's it for that box. So let's look at these cards. Okay. So there's the back of them. These are different. What are those? What's going on here? Oh, a few different things. Let's see what the different things are first. Oh, these are like uh, your reference cards. This game's got a lot of reference cards and things like that, which I, I really appreciate because especially when you have so many games, learning all these things and trying to keep all that information in your head is not easy. If you're wondering why I'm wearing my hat, uh, two reasons. Um, I um, Actually, there's really one reason, as I don't get a chance to wear this hat a lot, and I've been watching The Expanse, and Miller, one of the characters, he has a hat like this, so I'm, um, I'm representing Mil Miller. Watch The Expanse, it's a great show. And also a board game, which I haven't played the board game. I own it, but I haven't played it. Oh, there's the crazy guy with the face. Is that the guy with the face head? No. No, it's not. I don't know. He looks cool, though. Cryobot. Oh, there's the guy with the face. Yeah, that's right. Hey, his shield's different. That is not the same shield that's in the mini. Oh, switcheroo. Oh, that's the shield that's in the mini. Never mind. Take back the switcheroo. Hold on, is there? No. I was like, there's two of them, but they both have the same shield. Let's see these guys quickly. So yeah, as you can see, they all have their little stats here. Oh, does that mean, like, tapping or... Oh, hold on. Is that number two upside down? Do you flip this guy? Nope, that's a five. That's a five, not a two upside down. I, for some reason, my brain flipped that over and I was like, it's an upside down two. No, it's it's a five. But I don't know if that means to tap it or to flip it. Oh, maybe it's to flip it because there's other stuff on both sides. Are they the same? No, they're not the same because that, that is light colored. And that is dark. Oh, attack mode and basic mode. So I don't know if the stats are different on the other side. Are they? Let's see. If they're not, if they are, I'll flip them over. Let me see. Oh, yeah, they are different. So I'll just give you a quick glance at these. So I know he's the easiest to notice because he's got numbers there and then here it's all zeros. So I'm just going to go through the other side quickly for you guys. Feel free to pause and enjoy. Okay, so there's those cards. And the qu cards, the it's a really actually thick stock of card and it's glossy. It feels feels nice. Feels nice. Feels nice quality material. Okay, now there is tons of these. Tons. This is a stack. So we are just gonna whip through these. And then you can I'm gonna well whip through them enough that you can see them. It's 4K, just stop and and look at them, so let's let's do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a lot of these that are the same. So I'm gonna show you one, and then I'll just, if they're similar, I'll stop with the different ones. Where are they? I don't know. They have the, like a top and a bottom type of thing. So, hmm. It was like, is it like an option? I should, sorry, I shouldn't be stopping to discuss each of these cards. I'm just so curious. I don't know how this plays. Same. I'm assuming the ones that don't have as many copies are more powerful cards. You know what? Since we're going through this chunks at a time, it's not so bad. It's actually going pretty quick. Pretty quick. And I hope you guys are enjoying the the 4K-ness of these videos. I know not everybody's got a 4K monitor. 
but uh, it even makes the uh, the 1080 videos look better if you record to 4K. All right, so we'll put that back. And we got a bag full of stuff. Okay. I like all, I like all the little props. Little, some, you know what? Little plastic props, little plastic people. Like technically the people are more complicated than the props, like the heroes, the creatures. And, uh, but you don't see a lot of, you don't see a lot of um, miniature props, like furniture. Back, like back in the old Hero Quest days, all of the, those were cardboard, but they were cardboard and plastic. But I like them. Something about little furniture gets me more excited than just little regular mini people. And crazy little props. Like, what is this for? Who knows? Is that like a plant opening its mouth? To, like, look at that. Feed me. So that's that thing. And I wonder if, because the, their bases are gray, that they're, they're just generic. So we got a few flags, and we got a few of those plants. That's what we got in there. Plants and flags. So we got, looks like, two flags, four plants. So we'll toss those back in the bag. Are you guys on, on, on lockdown? Because uh, we're here uh, during this whole uh, COVID-19 thing. We're on lockdown. And if, uh, if you are and you're watching this video, stay locked down. Stay safe. Because it's nasty out there. And I wouldn't want anybody, like so many people have suffered already from this, so... It's so sharp, like, how do they do it? Like, where are these printed? If uh, you guys that are Wicked Realms are watching this, maybe you should drop some uh, tips over to the guys that did the, uh... oh, I'm not gonna say it. No, uh, never mind. I was like, they're, they're just, just, let's just leave it at. There are some companies out there that can use some better minis. And, uh... Maybe you guys can help them out. Let's see what else we got in there. That was like the big Grand Pooba. He's like the biggest guy in the box. Now, what I was saying about the big guy, see the base? He takes up all those spaces. And now the little guys, like what I like about, here's, here we go. These guys, that's their shape of their base. So that's the space they take up. So I like how everybody takes up a different type of, different kind of space. Then you got these guys, right? That take up a single. It's neat. I like that. I remember watching the video and thinking that was cool. Although I don't remember exactly how it's used. Oh, we do have both those guys. The face guy with the with the more traditional shields and not the doors. So he looks pretty much just like the other guy, except with different shields. There's two of those. And, you know, since I, I mentioned COVID-19, me and Brittany are both under, uh, both locked down. And both, we can both do our day, day jobs from, from home, so we're lucky that way. So, schedule-wise, nothing's really changed for us. I can't, I can't get these guys out of there. They're really, I'm afraid to break them. Oh, I may have been popping them from underneath. Because these guys are, look, they're really packed in there. So, these three guys, they don't have... They're all the same, so I just have to get one out of there. Oh, there you go. Got it. Because these are really, like, the quality in the minis, like, how I just love, like, they're so crisp. Because sometimes you get, you know, there's a lot of places they'll send you minis or they'll come. You get games and their minis look like, like they're carved out of butter. Right? They're, um... And these don't. These look like they're carved out of granite. Oh, that was the cool guy with the his card. I thought he was the shield guy, but he wasn't. Because he's got no legs, but he's got this robot. He's really freaking cool. Yeah, he's always oh, got his uh, wheelchair thing. He's got like tank tread, so I guess he can go on the floor. But I love how he's attached to this robot. And this robot, who also has no legs, which is a very it's a great concept, is is carrying him. He's attached to it because the robot uses his arms. That's amazing. Like, super creative. I love this thing. 
That is Sue. Can I get him sharper? No, I can't. That's as close as I can get. He's super cool. Sorry, I just fell in love with that concept instantly. That was great. There's three of those guys in there. Hold on something. Okay, so that was that was one faction. What faction was that? Is there a way to, to know? Other than just knowing? Is there a name? Probably on the cards. Well, I'm, sh I'm assuming that icon is the faction. Yeah, because the icon, see, it carries through. So that is the... Pretty sure I'm holding that upside down. Or maybe not. I don't know. That's the faction icon. And now let's open up faction number two. I love how it's like this. Ah, Dice Throne did that. That was my favorite thing about Dice Throne. Like the packaging, how you could just take out a box and be like, you're playing with this. This is your character and all the stuff you need. This is really nice. This is why people buy box inserts, but you don't need to with this one. It comes with its own really nice insert. Like, this is a John Hammond spared no expense type of deal. Dress Park reference, if you guys are wondering. Okay, so that's... I'm just going to guess the clan is the Sun Clan. I have no idea what the clan names are. I, uh, I'm completely guessing. But look, there's their... Uh, there's that thing. Looks more Rudy. Maybe they're the Root Clan. Ooh, or they're the sexy tree people plan clan let's start with the cards she's got my attention okay so that's the back of them that's their clan symbol or faction symbol i like how even the reference cards match the the theme now we've got that of the clan like just great great attention to detail all right let's flip through these quickly you know what to do pause if you want to see more what is that I want to know what that is. Oh, it's a gray die. I'm sure that's probably... I don't know what that is. This is like the uh, sexy tree people or mold people set. Oh, maybe not all sexy. No. It's just a bunch of sexy ladies with scary monsters. And she's kind of a mix between sexy scary monster. On the other side, if you want to see some stats. I'm really, I really want to see her mini because I think I saw a glimpse of it. Um, it was on the Kickstarter page. I remember it looking really cool. She was the main reason I saw it. I was like, oh, that mini looks awesome. I see her there. I see her in there. Hey. Right. Do the same thing. Let's go through these in chunks. Oh, Sprout and Seed. Yeah, you must be able to pick... I'm... This game's getting me just jazzed. If you watch our latest video, it's a preview video. Um, I mentioned how there's certain games that they spark... They ignite that spark in the in your chest deep down, like near the cockles of your heart. That I'm getting a little bit of cockle sparkings from this game. So, you know what we'll classify I need to come up with stickers. Board game coffee stickers that they'll put on these boxes that say this is a cockle sparker. That'll be like that's primo. If you just see the cockle sparker stick it, <laughs> stick it. If you see the cockle sparker ticket, sticker. Let me try that again. Cockle, sparker, sticker. There you go, I said it. Cockle, sparker, sticker. Try to say that five times fast. Anyways, if you see that, then you'll know it's a quality game. Oh, shapeshift. Is she, is she a werewolf? Werebear? Whatever the hell that is. You know, this would be an awesome package to give away. You know, Awaken Realms, if you're up for doing a giveaway to give away this beauty, you just let me know. Just let me know. But since shipping would be a bit of a, a bit of a pain, uh, maybe we could do it for you at a convention. Yeah, think about it. People would love it. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Because I know you want this. I know you want this. And if I can get it for you, I will. 
Okay, let's check out some minis. I, I'm digging this clan. So far, I really like that robot. I think I want to try the tree people. So far, this is the clan I want to play with. Faction. I keep calling them clans, but I don't know. I'm going to start small. There's our, our girl. She's got, if you notice, she is not nude. It's hard to tell. She's, she's tiny. She's one of the tinier minis. She has... Hold on. Actually, I'm wrong. She is nude. That is an exposed boob. This one has a leaf on it. So as long as one's covered, I think it's okay. She's not wearing much of anything. This must be one of those European bikinis. So she's a, she's a tiny mini compared to some of the ones we've seen. So there's our little sexy woodland girl who might turn into a werewolf. I don't know. And then we got... What do you got here? Ooh, I like her. She had like those like big wooden hands. It's hard to focus on the little tiny things. She got like tree barks running down her back or roots, tree roots. I think this it's like I think she's got like tree armor. It's like it's like the, the original Iron Man armor, but if it was made out of Groot's corpse. That's it. She's wearing Groot's corpse. Groot corpse. Groot's corpse? That's hard to say. Let's check out the detail in her face. She got a little tiny face, so like it doesn't look like there's much detail in there, but that's because it's so it's so tiny. Like it looks compared to the so it's if you consider the size of it, there's Look how close it is. Look to the tip of my see the tip of my my blade? That's how small it is. So compared to how big it is, they did a really good job on her face. I've seen a lot worse on a lot bigger heads. So she looks neat. She's awesome, and that's her base. So put her away. Oh, those are the worms. smiling at you. Okay, and... Okay. Get, get, in there. get in there. When you push them in, push them in by the base. Don't want to snap anything. And then we got... Oh, this guy looks cool. I'm like a werewolf type of deal. But he's got like a root system running through them, or those exposed veins. I don't know. Either way, I do not want to meet this thing in the woods. I like the... He's got a crack in his chest. And he's got really long fingernails. One of him in the box, and... Oh. Actually, don't there's is there no there's it was one of him specifically, but I see another one. Man, looks like a werewolf type of guy. I need to bring this box closer. Careful when you pull these guys out. I recommend going from the bottom and just pushing the plastic up. Yeah, I actually pulled his foot out, but it's a little peg. His foot actually came right out of that, but it's a peg, so you can just push that right back down. So we got another werewolf looking thing here, but he's smaller than the other one. But very similar. It looks like he looks like a smaller model of the other one in a different pose. I wonder if we could see him better if I don't have anything in the background. Let me try this. Yeah, I think that works out better. I think it knows what to focus on more now. Do that from now on. Okay, and then we got oh this one is one of the ones I thought looked the coolest in the cards. It's a girl riding uh, again. She's got a bikini on. And she's got a giant sword, so she can wear whatever she wants. And she's wearing, she's riding this crazy looking ox thing. 
And she's got like a gas mask. Or some sort of mask on her face. It's really nice looking. I like that one. Now here's the big one I've been waiting for. She's a big one. She's a big one. Sorry, let's take it slow. Let's take it slow. She's fit. That's the, uh, that's our scary, sexy demon thing. She is fit. She's been working out. She has not had a carb since 2002. I like her wings. They're like made of roots. Such an elegant looking... I keep calling her demon just because she looks scary. But uh, I don't know what she is. She's got one normal hand. See? She's got the high five hand. And then she's got this... Um, I'm going to rip out your, your jugular uh, hand right there. And I don't know how she sees through that material, but she looks really good. It's a really nice mini. There's the whole thing. Sorry, it was really close up. Let's do a turnaround on the whole thing. So you can enjoy it. I was really looking forward to getting this mini. All right, and that is it for that box. It didn't have, it didn't have a little bag full of things. It's got a slot for it, but no things. So I hope I'm not missing anything. Anyway. All right, and now, faction number three. There's their symbol, I think. Looks like, looks like claw marks. Ooh, they got a, I like how everybody's got like a different pack of something. I don't, I wonder if that, is it clan specific or is it like scenario specific or is it shared between the, the factions? I don't know. Ooh, those look pretty. Look how pretty those look. These are nice. They're so shiny. Oh, I like these. These feel, these feel good. You know what? These remind me of, oh, I can't remember what game I played that used similar ones. Fire Tower, I think. But except they were in blue, they were fiery in color. These are really nice. And these are, I don't know what faction this is. These are like the robots. These are the undead. I think this might be the, what are they called? The faceless? Does he have a face? That'll answer our question. Does not look like he has much of a face. So he might be the faceless. Looks like he's got some robotic prosthetics. Oh, and no skin. I'm guessing he's got no skin because I can see his muscles. He was the one that was in that lover's embrace in the uh, in the token. He's got spikes growing out of his back. Must be hard to sleep at night. There's no, and he's got a huge, he's got an incision there. I'm, I'm assuming that his, it's either a misplaced belly button or an appendix operation gone wrong. Yeah, so I'm assuming he doesn't sleep on his back with those coming out of there. There is one, there's a lot of different ones here. This one's packaged a little differently. There's a lot of single based ones. A lot of single based minis. Oh, this guy's got some armor on, but his butt cheeks are exposed. I don't know if they're armor or that's like his bones on his back. Over here. I guess depending how you color them, they're whatever you want to be. Some crazy looking minis. Okay, so there's two of that guy. Three of that guy. There's at least three of that guy. And then we got this guy. You know what he kind of reminds me of? Uh, Eddie from Iron Maiden. Oh, he's got like a... A piston in his leg. So these guys... Is he ripping... I think he's ripping, hold on. Is he ripping, ripping like a, 
he's either ripping one of these things out of his arm or he's ripping a sword out of his arm or something. That's what it looks like he's doing. He's ripping something right out of his flesh. Come on, focus camera. Look at that. Crazy. Crazy like a fox. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. Take it back. I forget I said it. All right. And then we got this guy who, instead of hands, he has blades. Okay. And there is three of them. In the box. Okay, so now we'll move on to the big guys. Oh, we got some cards. Fred with cards. So that's their logo, their faction icon. Again, the cards match their color scheme. They're oh, they're the faceless. I should have been reading the faction names from the cards the whole time. Well, you guys can go back and read them. Oh, he's crazy looking. He must be in the in the other half. Oh, there's a guy with the blades for arms. Oh, that's the guy with the blades for arms. There must be another guy. Ooh, I want to see that guy's pulling a thing out of his arm. I'll be able to tell what he's doing. Did I miss him? I might have passed them already. Let's check out the other side. So the stats for the other side. Oh, the guy who's pulling the thing out of his arm doesn't have his own card. Or maybe he's just one of the other guys, but he's not doing it in the photo. Said, oh, hold on, there's more. I was like, wait a sec, what's going on here? I don't think I noticed this before, but here is, we got what looks like player cards, but they're different. Notice, they got stuff happening on the side that these ones don't, and show sure, the backs. They're not reversible. They look like that. I don't know what's going on there, but I think that's different. That's unique to this faction that I've seen so far. Yeah, there's a few of them. Holy oh, crap! Oh, this is so. This faction's decks works. Looks like it works very different. So let's. So we've seen that guy. You know, he's got like a little person coming out of there. So there's, I don't know how to hold this. Okay. I was ready for it to flip. It's not flipping. So I'm only stopping in case see, there's, well, there are different, some different stats on these, different info. Wow. All right. There we go. Now we got, now we're down to the normal cards. This is much easier to hold this way. Well, that's quite a, quite a few of those. I wonder how this faction works. Well, that's hell. Okay. The beauty of 4K. It pauses so clean. Okay. Let's go look at the big minis. Again, the the fact that these each faction is separated in its own little like these little boxes makes it must make setup really easy. Because there's some battle games out there that I really like. Setup is a bit of a pain. I'm not going to name any names. Oh, there's one that has the, the guy hanging out of it. It looks like a robot that's puked out a guy that has a blade on his hand. 
It's very like the Hellraiser thing. There's a theme about these like robot things that have people hanging off of them and they have large arms. Like this guy seems unnecessary. And he doesn't even look like he could reach anybody to do any like anything this guy could reach, this guy, like he doesn't seem it. just give him this thing. I say him like they're two different people. He's got one leg. So imagine this guy walking around with some like as somebody that has like those like crutches and one like a broken leg. So he'd hop on the one and shift his weight on his on the uh, crutches. Can we see this guy's face? Can we see under there? Well, he's faceless, so I guess we don't have to see his face. Put him away first. Okay. Ooh, look at him. Crazy. He's got like the spider armor. The iron spider suit from Spider-Man. Does Peter know you're borrowing his armor? Or Tony Stark know you stole the design? Looks cool. Okay, the spider guys, there's three of them in here. So all we have to look at now is the their big champion. Ooh, he's heavy. He's the heaviest one so far. And he's got a giant blade for a hand. Or, yeah. A lot of robotics in this guy. Is it a little guy in there? Yeah, it is. Oh, he's, he's neat. Like, he's got those demon horse leg things going on for him his back is oh, like a zipper oh it's a chain looks like a giant zipper is that where the other guy gets inserted i'm i'm thinking that's kind of like a permanent situation for whoever's in there look it's like it is they're like robots made with flesh it's like a cyborg situation and that thing that is this this here that's like a real weapon you could actually if you took this guy off his stand, you could take somebody's eye out with that thing. Like, that's large, and it's sharp. So, I I approve of minis that are actually dangerous. He looks dangerous, and he is dangerous. For reals. Okay. This faction is, guessing the name as the Swirly... Stingrays. Swirly Stingrays. That's my guess. Or the Nine Bananas. Or the Three Bananas. Like the bananas and they're peeled. Gotta stop. Let's get into the bag. Oh, these guys have little wooden shields. I really want to know if these are faction specific or if they're they're shared. Like, or amongst all the factions. Because they look like they could be for different, like, game modes or something. But I don't know enough about the game to even know if there are different game modes. Okay, this one has a lot of little a lot of little minis too. Oh this guy is like right out of uh, the Dark Crystal. That's what he looks like. Except he's got antlers. He's scary looking. Like this thing. So there's five, six, there's six of those. Oh, nope, nope, there's three of those. These guys are different. They, they look similar, but they have their knife off to the side. Look, and they don't got that, they're not holding a big lantern. They're, they're holding a skull, though. Never leave home without it. And then you get more of a bird like features, where the other guy looks more lizardy. Last on that row is this awesome looking demon thing. He's intense. They really went all out on the detail on these guys. I 
There's three of him in, in the box. Okay. Let's go to the next layer. The next layers are all the big cool ones are. I like the big ones. But the cards are in there as well. That is their faction icon. Looks less like bananas. Okay, let us separate. So we've seen their faction backs. There is their reference card. Whatever this is. The demon banner. So I guess these are just your demons. He definitely looks the part. The Dark Scholars. Yeah. Oh, it's a more pig face face ish than I thought. Or no, maybe it was this guy. Maybe it was the bat. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming these guys are the other minis we're gonna see. What does that symbol mean? He looks cool. I like that. Gorehounds. Ooh, that guy looks like he's out of Doom. Which I want to play the new one. Doom Eternal. Looks awesome. Oop. Okay, let's quickly go through the other side of these so you can see those stats. Okay. And now, the faction. What's the faction called? Oh, Demon. We already went through that. Ooh, resurrection. I'm guessing that's the, is that the cost? Because we've seen I've seen those tokens. I don't know if you get that or that's the cost. Usually things like that on cards are the cost. But I should stop guessing. I'm probably just spreading all kinds of misinformation. A lot of fireballs. Who, hasn't, who didn't start singing the George Michael song as soon as they read that card? If I had the rights for it, I'd play it right now. Okay. So those are the cards. And let's check out the... Ooh, there's some cool looking guys in there. The big ones always look so awesome. I, I'm calling them the champions, but I don't know what they're called. They usually... That's usually a champion situation. Let's, ooh, I almost forgot these cards. Look what do we got here. We got Skeletor with many hands. Looks like Skeletor. Those hands look awkward for him. With the extra arms, I mean. He's like, I gotta carry these things around with me all day. I like demon dogs. Like, these would make great pets around the house, right? Like, nobody would ever mess with your stuff. You'd never sleep again, but your stuff would be safe. All right, what do you got? It's another version of, well, I like that pose. All creepy. Creepy crawly looking around. And here's the big baddie himself. Oh. This guy looks like he's right out of doom. His stick's all a little bendy, though. Let's straighten that out. I'm afraid to break it. But it's pretty uh, tolerant of me bending it, though. So, like, skulls on there. Looks like the skulls of his bird people, although they're really large. I sort of wonder all these demons, like, who designs their stuff? Even if they make them themselves. Are they, like, do they design by committee? Is there just, like, one guy that's his thing? And I'm not talking about the artists who made the minions. I'm talking about the demons themselves. We 
we got some angels in here, eh? Comes off easy. All right, so. That's their icon. Very techy. They're like tech angels. Robo angels. They're, what was I about to say? They are called, I don't know. Their name is, bam. Oh, that's the chapter. Oh, that looks like the guy that's on the cover of that book when we first opened the box. I like her. I hope, uh, I'm guessing she's the main one? Angel of Death. Let's go. Three other sides of these. I wonder what the advantage disadvantage is. Like, what's the gameplay mechanic between basic and and uh, defense mode? So defense mode is it when you just go in defense, like you don't attack, and all you do is turtle. I don't know. Okay. Put some cards. Ooh, she's that guy's screwed. Oh, is that a bloody wing? Maybe he got the better of her. I was wrong. Bet on the wrong horse. I don't know what the hell. It's a storm of blades. That's that's a stay inside situation. I get, you know, there's a lot of those. Fake death, eh? Energy drain. I'm a fan of energy draining abilities. I like taking from people when I can. In games, I mean. Like is you know I don't mean anything bad by it. You know if you can make somebody suffer just a little bit when you're playing, that's okay. It's the fun of it all. Okay, well they've got a little red crystal. I'm gonna take this out of the bag, but I think you can get the idea. It looks like a little blood drop. A little plastic crystal. Or... Yeah, it feels plasticky. Too light to be glass, I think. And we got some dice. Ooh, that means we got a test coming. We got a test coming. Ready? Bam. Oh, and they work. They work. Expect no less from Awakened Realms. Okay, and let's see. Where do we start? Let's start with these guys. There's four of these. They walk softly, and they carry a big stick. It looks like he's got a little robot bird on the end of there. That's what it looks like. It's probably not what it is, but it's definitely what it looks like. He's got a proton pack on his back. He's good to go. And we got it's four of those guys in there. There is... Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, those are the... What are they called? Rangers? Look at those boots. It's a good thing he's a ranger, because he's not moving very fast in those things. Oh, they're like tank treads. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe he can't move very fast in those things. Some crazy armor in this game. Oh, he's on the run. Oh, he's got a... He, I'm, I'm assuming that's supposed to stay stiff. It's a, it's a very wobbly one, but looks easily fixed. Not right now, but... Yeah, he's charging in. Okay, there is... Oh, no, there's not two. There is two of them, but different poses. Oh, it's another ranger. He tricked me. The same ones are usually all together in a group. He was not. 
See, there's another guy with shield. Oh, is his shield bigger? No, oh, maybe the same size. It's not the size that matter. It's how you use it. Your shield, I mean. It's how you use your shield. Okay, he looks really neat. And we've tried the stuff. All right, let us do the bigger minis. Oh, we got more. More of these, like, righteous guards or whatever they're called. He has a big sword. And oh, these guys look cool. There's two of them. These guys look really neat. I might want to play with this faction just to play with these, the, these bigger models. These guys look, look at him. He's the guy that's on the cover of the of the book. There's, he's this guy. That guy is that guy. So he's got these crazy like claw feet. Flamethrower. And he's got these like automated shields. He reminds me of something out of um, Oh, Dishonored, the video game. They had those giant things with the long legs, those robots, and they had, I think they had shields like this, did they? I think it was Dishonored. I know Dishonored had the tall leg things, but I think that was the game that had the shields. There's something, some video game that those shields remind me of. I just can't place it. I think it was Dishonored. I love all the gear work that's going on back here. It's gorgeous. It's a really nice mini. Good work. Good work, guys. There's three of those guys in there. Oh. I want to play, I think, just to play with her. Look at that. You know, I still want to think... Mm, I still think I prefer the... Uh, the woodland girl with the um, root wings. But... This one is a close second. I just want to show you from a distance, then we'll get up close. Her wings are large. That's a really cool weapon. She looks neat. You can tell she's got that robot face. You can, it's great detail on her face, actually. Looks really good. Those are huge wings. Hi. There you go. She's in. Great. That was it for that fetch. One more faction to go in this box is done. I think the other faction, the other box is going to go quick. I think. But you know what? At no point did I see that giant 42 pound box and think this is going to be a quick one. This is going to be a quick one. Yeah. So let us see. We got more of those blue crystals. We've seen these before. This faction also has them. Let's open up the cards. So that's their faction symbol. And they are called... Passive Turn. No, that's, that's not their faction. The Razak. They're the Razak. Let's check out the, the Razak. Oh, it's the robots I saw on the cover. Actually, this might be my favorite faction. Oh, she looks so cool. You notice if all the, uh, the angel-like things creatures are all, they're all female. She looks cool. She looks like something right out of a magic card. As the Magic the Gathering. Did you ever play? Let's play it all the time. Okay, we got Drill. Glide. Oh, 
tricky. If those are the same. Time jump. I like the sound of these. Seems like up here is the simple abil ability, like reroll, and then here is the super ability. Because I think that's the cost for that, which is a lot cheaper than that. I don't know how you pay those costs. That is my guess. And I, I do like that uh, feature in games. This doesn't seem very complicated at all, actually. Like, um, my guess is that this game is gonna be fairly straightforward, like just, just gonna make sense. You know, I haven't played Tainted Grail yet. I played the prototype. I haven't played the actual final edition that I have, uh, but I think I might play this first. Tainted Grail was great. I'm dying to get to it, but I told Chris that I'd wait for him to play it because he wants to play with me and Brittany. And he's currently in quarantine, so on some farm somewhere. So he cannot come here. Start the small guys. Oh, that's cool. They got the uh, the energy blast modeled out. Ooh, this guy has got some serious leg muscle action happening here. He's got teeny tiny feet. Like when this guy goes shopping, he must have to go to the kids section to buy something for those little tiny feet. There's two of him. There's two of the first guy I showed you, and there's two of these guys. These guys are interesting. They're like those are like energy uh, waves coming off the ground. It's like they're slamming the ground and causing these. That's cool. Some sort of power punch charge attack. So, and now, this is what I was going to show you, but first, I like her. Actually, I uh, created in college, fun fact, the only sculpture I ever made had a body that looked like this. It was like a cyborg woman. Her head was normal ish, whereas in this one, it looks like uh, those. Those, those hats that look like that, or the snare snare drum—is that what it's called? I know what it's called. What is the thing? The hi hat and drums. I don't play instruments. I don't play instruments. I don't, I'm not even good at rock, at rock band. So I don't know things like this. This guy's got like a silver surfer thing going on. Is he like a surfboard, riding the energy wave? He's neat. I like this clan. This clan is now my favorite. They've got all kinds of cool things. I like how all the energy is modeled out. And not to mention their their champion looks awesome. Look at her. Wicked. She looks super cool. We're gonna we're gonna we're getting close. I just wanna do a spin. Probably best you can see her this way. No. Keep her there. Did you guys get the back? Getting close. She had pistons in the back of her knees. Having them back there really helps when you're uh, you, when you've been sitting for a long time. You need to get up. Those really come in handy. Her armor looks badass. Is, that, is it really armor? It's her. I don't know if it's. I think it's we're beyond armor. It's it's her. They're, they're all like crazy cyborg-like things. Oh, hold on. She's got four arms too. I didn't even notice that. 
I was so enthralled by the wings and everything. Because one arm's holding a shield. She looks like she's making better use of her arms than the Skeletor we just saw in the last faction. Okay, let's toss her in there. She's got a, little, a lot of little fragile bits. So you know what? I appreciate these molded inserts to keep her safe. She, she's nice and safe in there. Okay, that, that was it for that box. Let me, uh, you know what? Let's take a look at some of the books. Just, just some close up on as certain aspects of it. Okay. No, I'm not gonna like, flip through all the pages or anything. But let's check it out. So that, so you can put it on the table there. There you go. There's that. As you can see, yeah, it's got a lot of words. And that's the artwork on it. Just like the mini. It looks neat. Then we got this thing, just in case you guys didn't see enough when it was the when I originally opened the box. This is the kind of artwork you can expect inside, not your traditional comic book style. That is, as far as like the text boxes, but things like that are not. Ooh, I won't mind painted. Not by me. I'd make a mess of those. Let's check these out. Is that Eyes Vanguard? Is that how it's pronounced? Just take a quick look at this. Pretty. And oh, it's like there you go. We're not gonna flip through this whole book. I just wanna I'm just gonna flip through chunks to sh show you some pages. Yeah, the idea. A lot of concept art. And we got the art book for Edge Downfall. Yep, the guys at Awaken Realms have not let me down yet as far as like putting out quality products that are fun to play. Oh, she looks so cool. I like it. She almost looks, she got like a Robo Samurai type of thing going. He's skitty. Werewolf. Again, we're going to show you all this. Just want to give you an idea what you can expect in this book. Ah. Sorry, the glare is all over the place. It's a nice book. So these are yeah, nice quality hardcover books. So we'll put those away. And let's put this game away. And let's open up another box. Oh, but before I do, this is the close-up on that envelope. Sorry if the camera's shaking, I bumped into it. I want to open it so bad, but I won't. Because it clearly says, do not open unless instructed to do so. Who knows what's going to tell me to open that? Like, who, does, the, does the game tell you? Do you reach a part in the game where they're like, hey, open up that envelope? Or is Awaken Realms, uh, you know, Marson, are you going to call me? Uh, and be like, hey, Mark, it's time to open up that, uh, that envelope. And it's going to be like a, like a, a specialized, like, like an I love you, or um, I really miss you, wish you were here, type of thing. Like, it, chances are, no. Chances are that that's not the situation. But, you never know. You never know. Okay, okay so what we're opening next is this thing. Darkness. It says... So it says right there. All right. So let's open up this tall boy. Let's see what's inside. Artwork's always so just dark and nightmarish. What are you guys trying to tell us? This box 
I'm digging this artwork. I like the feel. Feels like a nice quality piece. I like it. What's in here? Let's see. I have no idea what's in here. Ooh, darkness. Is that like a new faction? Ooh, they look cool. Ooh! Okay. Let's start with the cards. Okay, so let's, uh, what's going on here? This is, these are laid out different. I don't know what to do. I don't like change. Okay, so these, these cards look different. These look, some, something different is going on here. We'll get to the bottom of this. But we got, wh why is this in the middle? What is that? I'm going to keep that, separating those, because I don't know why it's in there. These are all the same. Okay. What's going on here? Why are these separate? That's, I like, I like that imagery. It scares me, um, but yet excites me. Apocalypse. The game ends after three darkness turns. Kill the Abyssal em Empress or lose. Well, that seems kind of harsh, but okay. These were separated. I don't know why, but I'm going to keep them that way just in case. Now here with our character cards. Let's flip through these quick. Sorry, I'm having, my fingers are struggling to hold these for some reason. Slaughter Crow. Sounds like a name of a heavy metal band. Oh, he looks neat. That's the guy in the box. Right, let's flip those over and you can see the stats on the other side. They're basic mode. Woo! That got flew out of my hand. She's scary. She, she's like held up by snakes or something. She can't be trusted. She looks like she was in the middle of the night. She was in her nighty and she started like, she summoned some demon and then that was it for her. Okay, that was the imposter. I wanna see what that mini looks like. And let's take a look at these. These do not have, these these cards look so different because they don't have the artwork on them. So it's actually harder to tell when you reach the, uh, when you reach new cards. I'm trying to go by this, what I assume is the cost. No, you can't, same cost, different, mm, tricky. I have to be on my toes with these ones. Snake Tornado. We need Samuel L. Jackson in on this. That's going to be his next movie. Mix Twister and Snakes on a Plane, and you get Snake Tornado. What is that? Oh, hell breaks loose. Oh, that looks like trouble. Nothing ever good happens when all hell breaks loose. Unless it's like in a good Western movie. Then it's a good time. Let us look at these miniatures. All right, let's see what we got here. 
these demons. Ooh, oh, creepy. Oh, that's the, what are they called? Was it the Death Crow? Some of these crazy sticks. This is all nightmare fuel. Wait, we got are those of the nightmare fueled crows. We have four of them. What the hell is that? Who dreams this stuff up? You know, you guys at Awakening Realms, I think, I think you guys need to have a talk with your artists. I think they're going through some things because I think you have to be to come up with some of these. They're being tortured on the inside. Their souls are being tortured. This is a cry for help. And then, oh, this is the the girl that was held up by snakes. Oh, she looks cool. This is the imposter. Her shirt, you know, it's actually less than the artwork. Her shirt just drapes over to keep it PG. She's also fit. I don't know if she's fit. She gets carried on by these snakes the whole time. Her bum crack showing a little bit. That's cool though. Like some cool concepts for minis. And creepy. Okay, so those are all, there's three of her. Now let's check out this big box. Oh yeah, oh, it's gonna be good. What the hell is that? This looks like it's right out of Pan's Labyrinth. Which is awesome. Look how cool he looks. Are you kidding me? Oh, baby. And he's on what, like a, a lazy Susan? That's what, that's what it looks like. Or she? It's, I think, I don't know. It is on a lazy Susan. It's crazy. And it's got like a Toblerone head. It's like my worst nightmare. She looks really cool. What's going on in here? Got some skulls. It's kind of like a, a crazy like cornucopia type of decorative take on Lazy Susan. Except instead of fruit and vegetables, it's uh, death and decay. And what looks like the teeth, skulls, spines. It's, it's nothing friendly. It's nothing friendly, I'm telling you that. She looks really good. Well, that's, that's terrifying and really cool. All right, so she's neat. And then here's the big boy that's on the box. He's heavy. He is the heaviest one so far. Whoa. Whoa. He looks good. He's got a giant bell on his back. That's why he's so heavy. He's got three bells. When one giant bell is enough, you get three. Oh, looks like he's got those energy sparks too. Those roots, I don't know, but he's cool looking. Yes, indeedy. What's on this? Little gravestones? How big is that guy? That's awesome. Look at that. It's messed up. He's got like gravestones. So he's got people. Does he got people buried in his back? How big is this guy? Crazy. That's so awesome. So awesome. That's really cool. Those gravestones, they won me over. That was, that way, that was the creepiest, uh, that was the cre creepiest faction yet. Cool, so I'm guessing that's the darkest faction. So I'm, I'm getting this, everything is nicely. You know what, I, I do like the fact that everything's, if this is, I'm pretty sure this is, that's what it is, it's a faction. 
So that's a faction. Those are factions. I like this all nice compartmentalized because I was like, I want to play with this faction. I just take it out and play with it. I don't have to like mix and match and open up a whole bunch of different boxes and expansions to figure out what's going on. I can just grab this and good. I'm playing with these guys. I'm good to go. Let's let's do this. Not right now. Right now, we're gonna open up. Hmm. Open up another box. All right. Now we're gonna open up. What is this? Father. Father of the sun. I was gonna say father and son. Like a night out, you know, or a nice evening out of, you know, father and son get together, go murder some villagers. But no, it's father of the sun. It's completely different, not nearly as friendly. All right, let's check those guys out. These are some quality boxes. They look really nice. They look like they sort nicely on your shelf and the artwork on them is awesome. Looking forward to just looking at this guy. He's got candles on his back. The other guy had, um, actually, you know what? I didn't see that in the picture. I didn't notice that in the picture. Because this guy, if you notice, yeah, there's the gravestones. You can see them right there. I missed them. I missed them the first time. And his arms are, are roots. So, yeah, really nice. So good. That's a good one. Oh, I thought I didn't think that was ever going to end. That was good. It's a tall one. Okay. Let's see what's inside. Oh, a whole bunch of little, little things. It's good, like, like a swarm kind of overrun system happening. All right, let's, ah, let's get this aside. What's supposed to go in here? Oh no, something fell. There you go. Let's check out the cards. Not a lot of cards in this set. What is this? Father of the Sun. I wonder if it uses if he uses the darkness cards. No, that doesn't make any sense. What if you didn't get the darkness expansion? Was that an option? I don't know. Let's check out the cards. First, let's move this down. You know what the problem with this whole moving up and down the camera thing is? is I've had shoots where it went all wrong and I forgot to put it, to like hit record. That was a mess. All right, what do we got here? Oh, first of all, let's separate these. All right, what is that? What are you? Just a plain card. Oh, nope, you got things on the back. Oh, those are the little tiny, there's all kinds of those. Let's have a die there. What is that? Is that how many pieces there are? Oh, I think that's how many of those there are. I think that's what that means. Like there is, how many there? There's like 12 of those guys. So there'd be four of him and one of him. Okay, I get it. I get it now. It took me a while, but I figured it out. Yeah, let's look through these. Eternal Embrace, again, not a lot of art on these ones. Which is not absolutely necessary, the art's nice, but... If it's gonna get me more game and you're gonna just skip all the unique art, I'm okay with that. No, you're wrong. I, I, I love good art. Spiderweb. Oh, those are spiders, like some sort of, like I thought they looked spidery, but I didn't actually think they were spiders, but they're like some crazy demon spider thing. Okay. Toss that in there, and let's look at some little spiders. And there, well, there's 12 of them, so we're going to go through this box pretty quick, because we're not going to look at each, each of them. But that's what those creepy little... Could you imagine having your these infest your house? Ugh. I don't mind the odd spider here and there. I don't I don't really kill spiders if I see them. Just, just let them go. Good thing about spiders is they want nothing to do with you. It's not like if you have, like, cockroaches. They want everything to do with all your stuff. Ugh. Spiders I'm okay with. But if I had one of these in my house, I'd move. I That would be the end of that. 
Um, okay, there's so there's 12 of those guys. Am I right? Five, five yep, 12. There's 12 of those guys. Then we have this guy. And I think this camera angle is working better. They look, the minis, at least they look better to me. I don't know how they're going to film, but. And this guy looks like he has an anus for a face. And my mom always told me, never trust anybody who has an anus for a face. All right, so there's two of him. So they look the same. And now, get in there, get in your box. And we have, oh, hold on. There's four of him. Quattro. So there's two more in this box. And then we got one. This is one of the small... Oh, cool. He's cool. One of the smaller of the... Uh, the champions, but he's also got four arms. Seems like a popular thing. Really tall, lean, must be a model, runway model. I love how sharp these things are. Get up close so you can see the detail on this guy. There's the candles on his back. Hold on, let's get, get those in focus. That's why he's hunched all the time. Do you think that was a prank? You, you ever see those those videos where they put like a, a sticker on the back of a muscle man, but he can't get it because he's all muscular? Like maybe he can't get those off and somebody was like, ah, we're just going to plant candles on your back. It's like what demons do for fun or for hazing. That's not nice. Poor guy. Okay. Put him away. Hang out. He is away. All right, that was actually a quick one. Seems like a fun little faction. The boss expansion. So I'm expecting a bunch of just big boss creatures in here. Let's check it out. So a lot of cool minis. That's what I'm expecting from the title. And just so you know, if you guys are wondering, this is uh, this is Friday for me. This is fr it's today is Friday, and uh, it's Friday before. Um, well, it's last Friday of the month. Is what I'm trying to say. Of uh, what month are we? March. And we'll probably put this video out Monday, Sunday, something like that. Now, why am I telling you that? It's because I just wanted to let you know this is how I choose to spend my Fridays. Just opening, opening boxes. Just so much fun. Okay. Now, and if my energy seems a little low or seems a little off, it's, uh, I, I was a little, uh, feeling a little under the weather, but I've, I've come back from it. Nothing too serious, I, because I'm getting on the mend, so I'm good. Okay, so, more amazing box art, no surprise there. Let's open it up. And, beautiful box art, as usual. It's a good lid, this is a good lid. Oh, I was very satisfied, very satisfied. I don't know what it is, what this texture is for this cardboard, but I dig it. Oh. Oh my God. It's just, it's just a box full of big minis. Big, awesome minis. I'm okay with, I am not complaining. This, this is awesome. This is the biggest box of mini expansions I've had, like, you know, there's, there's giant minis, but I'm saying like one expansion is full of big minis. This is, this is it. This is, this is amazing. I'm, this is mine. I'm happy. This is good. This is good. Let's get in there now. Ta-da. Okay. All right. Let's see. First things first. We got these things. Now, I think we've seen similar tokens in the core box. Keep close. We have uh, a redhead. She looks a little too normal to be in this set, I'm just saying. Okay, They're the same on both sides. And now, let's open up this big, this big boy. Now, I like that. I like when, I like the nice little emboss. It's a nice embossing. All right, let's see what we got here. Some cards, let's check these out first. Yeah. 
Okay, what do we got here? What's this? What's going on? There's, there's a lot of colors going on in this card. It's, it's, I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of variety in this pack of cards. Uh, where do I start? What's the back? Of the back? This doesn't look like a back. What is this? He's neat. Okay, uh, and this, is a, this pile's too big for my hands, so I'm going to break this up into two piles. And we'll try to keep it in order. Let's f go through these as fast as I can. Yeah, I think I might have to try to keep these in order. Oh, those are the backs. So the back, so those are the backs for that guy. I'm trying, I'm starting to figure this out. That is, okay, let's just go buy the different backs first. So, we got this guy. Don't know why he's got a plain back. And then those are the backs for him. His cards look like so. I guess those are his rules of engagement. And I got these. Do they go with him? I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to best put these away. In case they have to be in an old some order for some reason okay now we're getting back to our uh, full colored cards you know I do like these better I do like the the cards with all the artwork on the better Let's see what we got here the, I forgot those are the backs no well that's not the back that's one of these with the well, he's tricked me I thought he had a plain back. He, he has stats on both. This is, tricky. this is a tricky, tricky game. Sneaky. So there's his backs. It's from the Faceless. So do they become... Do we... I guess we control those? Or are they part of the campaign? I don't know how the bosses work. But I want to control these giant things. Can I? Can I? There's their faction icon, which we've seen before. And some new abilities. What do we got here? Rip and tear. Yep. That's that seems to be their thing. Okay. Slow me down going through these is figuring out exactly how to put them away. See that guy has no back. It's trees. You flip it over? Creature. See I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. So those would be the backs of his cards, and then let's put those aside. His cards look like so. Oh no, what? Oh, there you go. One thing I'm always nervous about is doing an unboxing and then putting things back wrong, being like, I'll remember how it goes, and then I don't get to play the game for like a year. And then I have no idea what I just did. I still have some, I have two unboxing games scattered around the studio at the moment. I, my project tomorrow, Saturday, is to um, put them away properly while Brittany edits this video. And if you're wondering a little behind the scenes as a secret is we, uh, we both edit the videos. The videos are either edited all by me or by me and Brittany. Uh, basically, when it's me and Brittany, she goes and does the does the cuts, and then I go in there and uh, polish it up, do any necessary zooms or special cuts. Any of the add in any animations and music. That's me. So we make a good team that way. I'm a lucky guy. And if she's editing this, love you, Brittany. If she's not, <laughs> she'll never know. Okay. 
Okay, and the front of that is bam. Oh, there's the, the girl that doesn't look like she belongs here. Ish. Is, is, it's because she's bad-ish? Oh, hold on. Things just got real. She, if she commands those things, then she might just be okay. I think she can handle herself just fine. Her on her own? I was thinking, I was thinking this. I was like, yeah, I don't know if I like your odds. Then you back it up and you're like, oh, your odds just improved. Action. I gotta say she's uh, amongst the D. Oh, did she just pop heads? Oh, look, she just that. Oh, mind blast. That's that's why she doesn't look tough because she's got her like mental abilities. Oh, this she's like messing people up. I take back. I'm sorry if uh, this redheaded demon girl. If she's listening. I am sorry. I did not mean anything I said. Um, I didn't know you had like a scanner situation thing. Oh, I'm going to flip you through the backs of them before. Losing it. I'm falling apart. That was the back of that faction. Oh, that was the Angels faction, the one with the Angels in it. What are they called? The Chapter. Got it. All right, so that was all the cards. Now all we got is awesome minis. No, sorry, I was wrong. We have these things. Oh, we've seen these before. We don't have to open those. Little shields. Is that all that's left? It's just awesome minis? Oh yeah. I think we have to, I think I have to move this camera up higher. Some of these are big. Yeah. One second. Okay, we have to make some adjustments due to the size of some of these guys. I don't know where to start. You know what? Let's just start. I know which one I want to do last. Don't know which one I want to do first. Okay, let's move this out of the way. And this, I want a clean, nice clean experience. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, oh baby. He's also got a face on his crotch. We know what clan you belong to. The face crotch people. Hold on, were they, were they part of the faceless? That nah, doesn't make sense, because you do have a face. It's not on your head, but you do have a face. This guy's like riding, he's like a robot centaur. Nobody has like, just, these guys have interesting ways to make up for their lack of legs. He's so cool looking. Oh, these guys are awesome. This is what I want to play with right away. I love how they're like swaying the chains that make up his, what I'm going to call like a, what's that thing you wear in the front of a kilt? I don't know. I, nobody, none of my ancestors ever wore kilts. We were a bunch of fishermen and kilts do not work well on fishing boats. Uh, I like how they have the, the runes. You can see them carved into the sword, into the his blades. The little details on this are wicked. And how you can tell how parts of them are like those are those are wood. This guy doesn't look happy. I'm assuming that's just the skin. A victim of his. Oh, he's cool. This guy is neat. These guys are all gonna be awesome. Holy crap. He's got this like badass Nerf gun and um, a drilling device. Looks like something a dentist would use. I'm guessing he's he's probably the dentist of the group is my guess. That's why he can afford such a sweet ride. That's why. All right. Okay, um, get back in there. Get back in your hole. Make sure I put you in there properly. And there's this guy. He looks like I could use him in Nemesis. Look at his... Those are impractical fingers. How do you use those? Like, how do you get anything done? How would you put it in your contacts? 
Okay, let's just flip, turn around from a distance. Like, I get they're made for killing. Oh, he's the guy on the box. The box lid, because he's got the crystals bursting out of his chest. Oh, I'd love to see this guy painted. Let's get in close. These are crazy. In a good way, like the good kind of crazy, the best kind of crazy. You know, there's there's the crazy, there's the bad crazy, then there's the good crazy. This is the good crazy. Like the way he looks, that's the good crazy. The way he is, that's the that's the bad crazy. That's the bad crazy. Never get those confused, kids. He's cool. That's awesome. These guys are wicked. Oh yeah, they got the color bases, so I'm guessing, yeah, they do go with their factions. So they do go with the faction. Nice. Nice. Awesome and nice. Where's this guy? This guy's got, he's like, oh, ah, I forgot. I'm drawing a blank. Okay, you guys know the name of the robot guy. Is it Grievous from Star Wars? General Grievous? If I'm wrong, correct me. That's okay, because I want to know the answer. That's what he reminds me of. Robot with a bunch of arms. Oh, he looks great. It's getting close. He's kind of like Grievous meets Chappie type of thing going. We've got a few non-straight poles. I'm supposed to... I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that pole's supposed to be straight. I'm not overly concerned. I figure that's just, it's just a thing that happens to the best of us. Sometimes you have bent poles. Can't do anything with it or about it. He's holding like a, looks like he's holding a bunch of tools. So he's ready to beat your ass down and then maybe if you're nice, he'll fix your car. He's sorry. He's crazy. What is he? Okay. And then we got that's oh I don't know that one. I want to do that one last. You guys don't know what I'm talking about, but I want to do that one last. Let's do this one. Oh ho ho! Oh what a awesome! It's like a like a monk or a priest of some sort, some holy man, something, some guy, and he's in this giant mech. He's just sitting there, pretty sitting pretty, in like this VIP lounge of mechs. Oh, yes. Oh, I think those are, this is from the, um, the chapter clan. So he's got a nice straight pole. Let's look at him. He's got a little book. Wow. This is a little detail on that hammer. Just so I don't even know where to start looking. There's so much stuff. Freaking fantastic. Okay. Awesome. Look, see how big these guys are? They're huge. Okay, I think this might be the biggest guy as far as amount of plastic used, because he's heavy. Well, in that box, I mean. He belongs to the woodsy people, I'm guessing, by the green base. I think their bases were green. Maybe not. But he's got kind of like, he looks like a, like a giant insect. Slash dragon. That's what he looks like. Super awesome. These guys are great! Oh, I can't wait. These guys have got me the most excited so far. Like, the main box, the war chest, that was great. Don't get me wrong. That was awesome. This, this box, I'm peaked. He's got the biggest hole, I think. I think this box is as big because of him. Because of his wings. Get in there. Okay, here's the one. 
Here's the one. You know who it is. Because we were talking about her earlier on. The girl that didn't look tough. She looked out of place, and then you saw her popping brain, brains, popping heads with her mind. She earned her place a lot. I can't, I don't want to break her. She's got so much detail going on here. Are you ready? Whoa, ho, ho, ho. This mini is the bomb. Oh, what's going on in the back? Oh, we'll, we'll get it close. We'll get it close. We'll get it close. I was tempted to just zoom right in there, but... Look at her. Fantastic. Look at her just sitting pretty there. Just sitting there with her glass of wine, and then you look in the bottom, you're like, holy crap. And then what are you back here? Like somebody that like really pissed her off. Is that, I noticed there's like, these things dra draining this person, I'm assuming. So I would assume that either feeds the creatures or fills her cup of wine. Whatever they're taking out of this person. Like, is that a job if you, you applied for? I want to be the person that hangs out in the back of your chair. Or they they wronged her in some way. She had a really smooth skin. Where do you think you get razors in, in like hell or wherever this is? Speaking of which, how do you train these things? And like they don't look very graceful. I'm assuming that's a bumpy ride. And how does she not spill her wine? Wow. So, what's going on up here? Just some runes? So freaking cool. That's so cool. Yeah, she's my favorite one of that box. She went from, uh, what is she doing here, to my favorite uh, boss in the box. Let's put these guys away. Okay, we still got three boxes to go. I think the other ones are props. No, well, one says stretch goals. I have no idea what that is. Uh, other than, well, stretch goals. You know what? I just I forgot to put the stickers away in the base box. Da. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't know what this is. The other one, you know, the bot, it said boss expansion. So I assumed a bunch of big bosses. You know, I was, I was right. I was right. Um, this, I have no idea what this is. It just says the uh, edge of downfall. I'm assuming it's a bunch of props. Um, which, if you watch this whole video, you'll know that I'm a fan of the, for the furniture props. Or in this case, what I'm guessing, portals. Okay. Let's box lid open. Satisfying. All right. Let us see if I was right. Wow. I was right. Portals. And a bunch of things that fell out of place. Oh, every oh wow, this this one did not travel well. Which is weird. They seem to fit in fairly decently. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, I always like to look underneath. You never know. You never know. Any secrets? No secrets. Yeah, a bunch of little props things. Okay, let's check these guys out. Let's check out the cards. I'm sure I'm assuming these tell me how these portals work. What is the back? No, they're all different. Well, they're not. Yeah, we'll, we'll go through them both, both sides. Okay, so those are the same. Is the text the same on all of them? At a glance, it looks the same. The art on these are creepy and very nicely done.
Alright, so that was all the cards. Let's get to some minis. Let's get these close up. Yeah. Oh, there's a few of them in there. There's two, they're stacked. Oh, hey, it's the Lazy Susan that that other demon was on. Before she broke it. Doesn't look like so much like a Lazy Susan in this way. It kind of looks more like a, a Wheel of Fortune situation. You just spin this and go for a dollar. Love little props. This is awesome. Oh, that way. That's creepy. That one's got hands in it. So, like, is that people reaching through the portal? Hmm. What's this one? And this one looks like something like Superman came to Earth in. Oh, there's steps going to it. These things are crazy looking. Oh, they're double faced. They're two faced. Because you can't trust them. They look like they're made of like flesh. Like flesh plants. Like a really creepy version of uh, something Poison Ivy would come up with. sort of generator thing. I like how they model out the, the energy. Like, so, like these minis actually have the energy um, waves or bolts modeled out. Oh, this is like a rock that's floating away type of thing. It's, it's like chained down. Creepy looking demon. Right, like, who comes up with this? What? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Some sort of crystal thing that's strapped down with demon heads? Right? Like, who was somebody... Who pitched that? And this... I get the pitch for this. Think of kryptonite, but a lot of it. And here we have... There's three of these guys. Oh... It's like a, it's a little like a little terrifying, um, like manger scene. I don't know what's going on here. It's like a cradle or like those are like rib bones and it's like a pile of bones. What I don't know what's happening. But nothing good has happened here. Something bad happened here. These things, are very mechanical looking. like just chained up you gotta chain up your pillars you don't want them to just run away on you and then we got more clusters of crystals I dig it I dig it all I'm happy I went all in oh, are you in here I'm happy I went all in I like 3d props Let's open up Shrines and Sources. Yeah. All right, let's get in here. I'm guessing more props. And Sources, I'm guessing are the crystals and... Well, I know what a shrine is, but I don't know how they're represented here. I wonder how cool this thing's gonna look on the table with all the, all the actual bits. I'm guessing very impressive. Okay. Small but satisfying. I like the blues used in this. It's very nice. Ready? 
Okay, yep, they're what I thought. They are props of those things that I don't know exactly how they would be represented to begin with. Let's take this lid off and let's take a look at the family. Well, there's a bunch of these. If I get them out of the box. There. Oh, he doesn't have a base, they're hollow. So I'm guessing these are your sources. in right fits and then we get these and the else i'm guessing is your shrines hey i saw that in one of the blue cards okay so not blue cards the punch cards one of the punch cards has that in the center so i'm guessing those are shrines and these represent the these will replace yeah we've seen this crazy thing the black hole with the tentacles coming out so i'm guessing this replaces those cardboard bits So I guess this is one for every faction. The steps going up to this guy's mouth. I don't know if I'd want to go that shrine. No thanks. It's a cool looking, very techy looking shrine. Shrines fit in here very, very specific order, which is good. Keeps them secure and safe. That one looks like a crystal and a bunch of stuff just spawning out of it. I don't even know which angle to show you this at. And this one. You know, I mentioned the expanse earlier. Do you guys, this this reminds me of, uh, let's say what happened in Venus. Let's just leave it at that. Cool. Okay, get in there. This one's a little hard to figure out how he goes in. Come on, if I spin him around, he'll just lock in there. Or not. Hold on. I think you got this. Yeah, ha. No. There you go. And this guy, let's go. Yeah. Very machiney. I like the machines. I'll, again, the energy arcs, energy bolts. Awesome. This way. Right this way. Go in your box. Yeah, there you go. Man, that was very satisfying. I dig those. Okay. Right. These lids go on very specific. In a very specific way. Alright, so let's put this back in. One last box. It's a big one. It looks like this. This one, it says stretch goals on it. Okay, it is a badass guy on a horse. This guy needs business. Yeah. Ah, here you go. All right. Oh, this this box is coming off great. Save the best for last. That's a great lid. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. Okay, again, great artwork. This guy on the demon horse, demon guy, demon horse. Awesome, and there's a bunch of them coming for it. Great, this is just, you guys got some talented artists working there. Okay, what do we have here? That is a little, a little dented, but it's okay. It's okay, a little letter, a little letter. Ah, we get by the uh, looks of like the team over, signed by the team. 
My man Marson. Greetings, Dawnfall. What's going on here? Oh! Tells you. Check it out. Tells you how to fix any uh, of the bent things. See if his sword is bent. Apply a little heat, straighten it, bam! Done! That's great! Thanks for adding that. That is great. And then there's some. Do they include glue? Oh, if something breaks off, a little drop of glue, and then. Oh, you put the glue there. Oh, that makes sense. I've never had to. I, I've done terrible trying to fix minis. So you put the drop of glue somewhere, then you dip the, the bit in the glue, and then you stick it on. That, that's clever. I like that. That was really, that was really cool. I learned, I learned something new. Now I know how to fix the bendy things. And uh, I, I know how to properly glue them. Because I always, I was always, every time I did that, it's just a mess. Okay, what do we got? Very colorful. Oh, see, there's, those are the sources, I'm guessing. And now I don't need to use these because I got the big fancy minis that we just saw. What is this? What is this pretty thing? What is this? It just says stretch goals, but come on. Darkness solo mode. Prime shadow solo mode. This will get solo mode things. Alternate banners. Scripts, endings. I don't even know how to use this thing. This is a book loaded full of extras. Well, that's going to be an excitement, exciting little thing to explore. I don't know what the hell that is. That was, that was neat. This, that was a nice, I don't even know what it is, but I'm excited. And we got more reference cards. More stickers for me to remember to put away this time. Let's see them close up. Is there two different types? No. Nope, those are all the same. And then we have more of these. This looks different. A lot simpler than the ones we've seen before. Okay. Oh, and minis. This box is deep though. Is there more in there? Over here? No. Why is it so deep? Why are you so deep? I'm gonna find out why it's so deep. Oh, it's because of this guy. Let's get right here. He's the troublemaker. All right, let's look at some cards. Yeah, you know what? Let's get close. You know, I just almost had a little mini heart attack because I thought I forgot to press record on the camera. What? Getting all tangled up in all the plastic. All right, let's check out the cards. Okay. Have we seen that faction before? That looks new. There's a lot of cards for them. An alternate faceless shrine, eh? Oh, these are all the different alternate rules. I guess all of this goes with that book. This is very exciting. We'll just show them to you like how oh, I'm doing here. Yeah, just to start this. Let's see both sides of them. You know, speaking of Voith and Realms games, I, uh, not, not that anybody was speaking, in my head I was. Um, I only played Nemesis once. It wasn't my copy. I was playing with somebody else. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a really cool, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, and I thought it was really cool. And I'd like to play it again. I have a backlog of just Awakened Realms games to get to. Oh. 
Whoa. What is that? That looks crazy good. That guy. So you see in the oh he's in the box. I think he's the reason the box is so big. He's double sided over there. Oh, it's a totem, that's how those work. Whoa, spinny. Relics, that's what those are. Oh, there's the I keep spinning these things. It's like those satellite bombs or satellite it's a bomb. Okay. Nailed it. Flags. Sorry, banner. I got some question marks. Oh. These do different things. I guess I could have just flipped them all over, but we're done now. Okay, and now let's whip through these guys. I'm gonna go check out some minis. the bell that the other guy had on his back? Oh, I think it is. There's the guy. There's the bell. It is his bell. Quite a bit of cards in there. No. You know what's with uh, with everything that's going on in the world right now. A lot of people are not going to get their uh, Edge Dawnfalls as soon as they'd like, because a lot of shipping things like FedEx and UPS or I think they use FedEx. They're, you know, they're, they're having some issues. They're a little backed up. There's a lot of demand on their services right now. Since people can't leave the house, a lot of people are still, oops, a lot of people are still shopping. Online, that is. So let me know in the comments. Are you guys under lockdown? Are we, are we doing this together? Am I on lockdown filming this and you're on lockdown watching this? You know, a murder of crows in uh, in this game, I doubt is as uh, as innocent as it actually is. The term actually is. Oh, that, that's a crazy looking thing. Just make sure these aren't double sided. I'm gonna be tricked. We got the back of those. What the back of those look like? Very rock and roll. Let's try to sort these out of there. You're gonna tumble. Who's she? She in that box? I don't remember seeing her around before. You're you're new here. That looks like what that guy had on his arm. It might be. some sort of order. Get 
Te ves bien. Okay, all right. Now, all we got is, what, what are these? Oh, well, we've seen those before. We've seen the blood drop and uh, we've seen the relics and the bombs. So we don't need to open those. All we have is awesome minis and then we're done. We're done, let's start, let's go from small to big. First, dang it. You know, you know you're dealing with some badass minis when the small one is the dragon. Oh, oh, whoa, I didn't even see there was a chick there. Sorry, she caught me off guard. I just saw the dragon head. I didn't realize it was like a dragon serpent and that some wing girl back there. I, I gotta admit that actually spooked me because I saw it and it was like, bam. Scantily clad demon woman. Scared the hell out of me. Oh, her base actually has stuff going on in there. It's not just flat. I like it. I like the t Actually, I prefer that. I like the texture over the flat. She kind of reminds me of the uh, succubus from World of Warcraft. Except that guy is different. You focus on him. Let me see how close I get. There you go. Oh, I like. I like them. They're a good little duo. Kind of reminds me of uh, Kitty Pride and Lockheed. Is that the little dragon's name? That little pet dragon. I can't remember. I'm trying. To... There, read a lot of comics with Kitty Pride in it. And then we got these guys. Now, these guys look like they'd fit into uh, Awakening Realms' other game, The Great Wall, which the Kickstarter ended already. But I played a demo of it at Essen. Worker placement. Seemed pretty cool. This guy actually, this is the guy that was on the box. He's neat. Hey, look, here you go. You have a guy angel. I said all the angels were women. His wings are a little chewed up, you know, a little gnarly, but he's riding a horse, so I guess he doesn't really need them. But he's got one of the, these things. We saw a guy that had one of these in his hand earlier. He's got a giant axe. I guess he doesn't really need that either. I'm assuming that's to open uh, cans of jam or tuna. Like cans of tuna, that's it. Because you know, the military guy's on the road. The horse looks cool. I like the uh, it's kind of Spider-Man thing going. You could totally paint that to look like the corny Spider-Man cover. Like he's a big Spidey fan, so he bought this thing for his horse. Oh, I like, I like this. Give it to me. No, oh, no. These guys remind me of the uh, the gnomes. Is that what they're called from World of Warcraft? They had all the tech. Yeah, it looks cool. These guys look fun. I can't wait to try this game. I'm so excited. Like these. I'm so high, like, wow. So, I'm so in wow. I like this. I like how that pyramid looks like it's floating in there. That's a cool looking mini. He's also floating. He doesn't need to use those legs. It's so cool how it looks like it's floating in there. He's awesome. He's really nice. Her base is really in there. She does not want to come out. And she's another uh, creature rider. I'm assuming the temp, the weather is warm where these people are because they don't wear a lot of clothes, like the the animal riders. You know, different climates call for uh, 
different types of armor. And her hers is very tropical. Her climate, I mean. And these, this, what's going on here, that's just gross. He's got it on his face too. It's like the worst case of herpes ever. He looks good. He looks good. They look good. They're they're a good looking couple. Good looking pairing. Okay, let's put her in there. And it's this one. I love the robots. The more robotic they are, the cool cooler they look to me. Like you get a lot of demons in games. You know, I don't think you get enough crazy robots. You get you get you do get robots, but not enough. Okay, and this guy. Ooh, is that a tongue coming out of his crutch? Looks like it. I'm going. That's a that's a tongue. He's got what we call in the medical profession. Crotch tongue. Yeah, he's cool and scary. Like, he's like nightmare fuel. Look at that. Look at his face. He's got no face, but he's got a lot of mouth and teeth. You don't really need a face. Here, he's got, he's got enough going on here. And now the last one. Last one? Yeah. We've seen them all. We're seeing the biggest one for our last. Da da. That's the guy that was on the cool artwork I liked. He. It. Looks amazing. This is one of my favorite minis. I think my favorite mini was still the one that came in the darkness box. No. No. That's not true. I don't know, maybe. No, it's not. There's too many good ones. I can keep thinking of good ones. This guy is really good. He's got my favorite level of detail. Because he's got a lot going on, and it's nice and clear. Like, you know, hold on. It's clear as in... I can make out those are crazy... Like a demon mouth, a bunch of teeth, but... I don't know what this is but you know what you shouldn't know you should know because if you know what this is then you have some issues little details in there little chains so much going on with this guy you know I'd love to see the modeling process like the the process that makes these like the printing process or the molding or whatever machine spits these out. I want to see it. Painting this, I don't know, as for you painters out there, is it awesome or, an, or like to paint something like this or is it like, you just want to gouge your eyes out? What kind of thing is it? And I like, I'm a fan of Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 2 and he's totally got Dr. Octopus arms in Spider-Man 2. So, I'm going to call him Doc Ock. I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. That was a lot. Just making sure. There was a lot of things. That was all of it. That was all of it. Thanks for joining it. You know what? If you if you enjoyed this, I enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, if you want to help with the channel, we uh, we got a little link, donations link in our description. Um, just click on that and go through the steps. Easy peasy. Uh, we'd appreciate it. Not required obviously but um let me just turn that off but it would greatly appreciate it um because equipment does not come cheap anyways thank you very much hope you enjoyed this um i i i liked unboxing it and i will see you again next week oh and stay inside stay safe
Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.